Imagine the strain of having to flip through hundreds of CVs just to settle on one. If and if your resume is not well written, it's likely to going to end up in the trash can. Here are five mistakes you must avoid when writing your CV. Mistake number one, a showy, over-the-limit outlook. Unless you're a designer, employers don't want your CV to look like branding collateral. Stick to a simple, flawless, single or two-color design. It is okay to look for a design that works for your type of industry, but just don't overdo it. A busy looking resume is most likely going to make you minimize your chances. You're looking to increase your chances of getting hired and not the other way around. Most professional CV writers advise that you stick to a single font type throughout your resume. I know that you want to outshine the other applicants. The best way to do it is in your content. The design only contributes 20% of the overall score. Mistake number two, a lack of balance in hard and soft skills. A bias in your skills listings could harm your chances of securing an interview with your preferred employer. While it is praiseworthy that you have acquired the right skills through education, it is also important that you talk about your special skills. Market yourself to the potential employer. Companies are looking for all-rounded employees. Projecting yourself as a 100 worker brings out as lame. Mistake number three, grammatical blunders and unbelievable formatting. Take a look at some of the most common formatting and grammatical pitfalls to avoid. Watch your tenses. It sounds like a no-brainer, doesn't it? Still many job applicants find it confusing when referring to present, continuous, and past work involvements. Be concise and neat in your explanations. Summarize your responsibilities in short, precise highlights. For example, you could say participated in many leadership training workshops without saying I participated in. Writing numbers in words, please give your headhunter an easy job. Don't make them strain to read through your resume. Put down your quantitative achievements and figures. It makes you look organized and brief in your explanations. Mistake number four, lack of social media profile, especially on LinkedIn. You should always make sure to link your LinkedIn account at the top of your CV. Make it an integral part of your bio. There is nothing to be ashamed of in displaying your credentials in public. Do not forget to keep updating your LinkedIn credentials every time you're sharing them with your future bosses. Mistake number five, irrelevant content and CV titles. Initially, you might have prepared a general CV for obvious reasons. All around resume is for the public profile, not for a specific job application. The hiring person going through your CV is looking for the most ideal applicant for the advertised position. Zoom in on an appropriate title for the role at the top of your resume. For instance, applying for the position of vehicle fleet manager in your resume says you're qualified. Don't project yourself as a driver in your title.